Good evening guys. As you can see, it's dark already. That's because this is the end of the session. I'm doing this intro at the end of the session uh, for reasons that will become obvious shortly. Um, if you don't normally watch my videos, or if you do, you'll know that my videos are a diary of my fishing. Well, I came out this evening for a session on the pole. Came pole fishing to a stretch I fished a few times before, before on the pole. Had some nice red eye, roach, bream, uh, silver bream and I've been plagued a couple of times uh, by a pike it's been attacking my keep net so I thought this time around as you know I do some do do like to do some predator fishing so this time around I bought one of my dead bite rods with me thinking um, I could drop a smelt on the nose of this pike if he's attacking my keep net and we'll perhaps we'll catch him that was the idea anyway it didn't work out he did attack my keep net um, and unfortunately didn't manage to catch him he wasn't interested at all in, in the smelt so what I did was um, just as it got dark is I took the smelt um, towards some cover on the other side of the canal and basically forgot about it I was happily uh, catching fish catching some bream I actually had a PB silver bream this evening as well so yeah it was uh, it was, it was a cracking session um, I had a couple of aborted takes on the uh, dead bait and rod just a running ledger set up um, just got it on an alarm so I could sort of forget about it And a couple of times I had some beeps and I wound down as I use circle hooks. I don't strike, I wound down to nothing. I just thought, oh, it's just small fish messing around with the uh, with the smelt. So I cast it out again, thinking, oh, you're going to catch some, a, a schoolie um, or two. And uh, I was in for a bit of a surprise because what happened next, I wasn't particularly prepared for, as you can see from the, the landing net I have with me. <laughs> um, but... Uh, yeah, it was quite a surprise what happened next. Well, guys, the dead bed rod sat around doing nothing for absolutely hours. And it's just clicked into life. It feels a decent fish, to be honest.
Well, we've caught a decent fish. <laughs> it looks like a big old sander. And I've only got my tiny pan net. It is a huge sander. God. It is a monster. So guys, that's about that. <laughs> Ten and three quarter pound of Canal Zander. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> what a fish. Unbelievable. Absolute beast. Fortunately I'm not too far from my car. It's uh only just behind me, so I was able to go and grab an unhooking mat and uh, my big net, which all lives in my car. I was able to pop that, pop him in that, have a rest, him or her, possibly a her. But yeah, what a fish. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a rather a surprise. And yeah, I thought I'd keep this video separate um, from the pole fishing part of the video because uh, obviously there are very different disciplines, but yeah, I was absolutely gobsmacked. My, uh, my hands are still shaking, I think, but what a session. What, what an unbelievable session and what a fish. I, I first saw a bit of color um in a in my head torch and i thought it was a pike it was so long and it came to the top and that unmistakable shape of xander's tail but wow fantastic well i hope you enjoyed that i certainly had an absolutely cracking evening cracking evening but it's it's about half past 10 now so the time i went home got work tomorrow <laughs> so all there is left to do is to say thank you very much for watching tight lines enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons and I'll see you all again very soon.